Hello and welcome back. This time we're checking out something shocking, something you must see. And of course it has to be some random Russian guy. <laughs> Do you have to have a bear? If you're a Russian, how big is your bear? How many bears you got? And do you ride them to work? I mean, those would be my main questions, I suppose. I mean, I would be more into hockey if uh, also bears were a part of it, you know? Just, uh, oh my god, can you imagine? People riding bears and uh, <laughs> with like hockey stick. Holy shit, I would watch that. I found out, yeah. Would you guys watch hockey if the players were actually riding bears? I would say fuck yeah. Make it happen, Russia. Discovering a rattlesnake den in your backyard. Um, I'm not super freaked out, but I say put it back down. It was better this way. <laughs> I actually used to have a big spider. Would you believe that actually didn't get me all the ladies? That wasn't exactly uh, what they wanted to see. But uh, yeah, I would not recommend it. Also, super boring pet. Kind of on the level of owning maybe a fish. But also uh, kind of uh, aki. And you don't really want to touch it. And if you do, uh, prepare for a bunch of claws in your skin. Not chilling yet. Whoops. He's fine. He's, he's totally fine. <laughs> he's fine. He's fine. You learn how to hover. He doesn't need boards anymore. Dude, did a 360 on the horse back? <laughs> but still lost. God damn it. What a badass. Holy shit. There's no way I would do that. <gasps> oh my god. Respect. Why have cards? <laughs> the slight wait time at the lift line. That's how it's titled. <laughs> you fucking idiot. You went to a place where like everybody goes. That's terrible. Also, why even take the risk? Just stay at fucking home. Just stay at fucking home. And it's gonna be better. I fucking guarantee it. <laughs> this guy. Wait, where is he? One, one guy is pretty surprised by this. Look look at the disappointment and the surrender in the faces of uh, these tourists. <laughs> like, oh, fuck me. You might as well go fucking home. What the fuck are you waiting for? Just go fucking home. You know what I would fucking do? I would go. You know, even if even if I plan this, I don't gotta I'm not gonna wait like Hours here just to take it up by the lift. No way. Just as God intended. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my God. I think I've seen this porn already. <laughs> oh my fucking God. What is this? Uh, this is someone doing it for me. What is this shit? What is this? <laughs> How? <laughs> I love it though. I, I I just give it double thumbs up or whatever. Maximum maximum rating on on, a, on every scale. This is perfect. I, this is what I want to see. <laughs> Dogs uh, leading around humans. <laughs> this this just this is perfect. A massive crocodile caught in Australia. <laughs> Look at that. Kind of youngish looking dad. Uh, with his uh, daughter. <laughs> and a big ass crocodile. Holy shit. They pose with it like they caught like uh, an above average fish. Is this like normal in Australia? And it's not even super secure. I, I guess it's as secure as it can be. Because they use the rope. Use some rope and duct tape. Uh, to close its mouth, but it does seem like they are not, they weren't as prepared, 
you know it, it's very diy solution to uh <laughs> dealing with a crocodile <clears throat> i'm calling it a crocodile it's an alligator no crocodile fuck they all look they all look very similar it, it's big ass so crocodiles are tend to be bigger than alligators <clears throat> uh, that's basically the extent of my knowledge and uh and its jaw apparently uh can be uh held shut with only your, with only your hands they, they they can clump clamp like crazy but uh if you're dealing with a crocodile and you think of uh holding uh, its uh, mouth with your hands you're fucking stupid <laughs> just just run but also apparently on a straight line just just zigzag because these guys uh, apparently have trouble turning around don't go into the fucking water uh i don't know ma'am i think i think uh for every uh daughter and uh father uh smiling with a big ass crocodile uh there are 10 more who end up like uh end up dreamer so i i i guess wow i don't know i wouldn't risk it Th these these things are are deadly Being chased by a tiger on a motorcycle. <laughs> oh my god. It does very much look like the tiger is going for you. But that that's usually not their strategy. Uh wow. Holy fuck. <laughs> it just really makes me appreciate that I'm living in, in an area where this is not a common occurrence. <laughs> chased around by tigers? No exactly. <laughs> Holy shit! Imagine if uh, ch being chased around by tigers was a common occurrence. Oh my god. Survival of the fittest, man. <laughs> that would be a pretty hardcore. Flood in uh, Minas Gerais, uh, Brazil. Maybe that's how, that's how, that's not how it's pronounced. Uh, hey, look at that, that's my car, says the guy. It's pretty relaxed. I'm gonna take a leak. <laughs> Holy shit, it's inside too! <laughs> Holy fuck! I like these people. They're very relaxed. They, none of them... Even, does one of them have their legs up? They all have their legs down, right? I guess this is just uh, another uh, Tuesday for you, right? <laughs> Holy shit. God damn it. Uh, rip in peace. Nice trick. Oh, so sweet. Oh, fuck. Was that intentional though? No fucking way, right? Why would you uh, try to destroy a boss? And if not... Yeah. And if not, that that could have happened to like like a boss full of people as well. So sweet tricks. I thought this this was like uh, year two thousand or maybe like the, b before the twentieth century that people recorded their sweet tricks with the boards. Maybe like. Early twin. I don't know. Th this was this was a thing for a long time, but I don't really see it anymore. People just uh, post other dumb shit, other than like, or maybe maybe I could say it's not really part of the uh, mainstream culture anymore. I suppose. Just one pothole away. Oh, look at that! We got a badass over here drinking, driving, and attempting to kill himself. In more ways than one. With the same move. Holy shit. Pretty respectable. I don't know how he can up his game. Maybe... Is he speeding? I, I can't tell. I think he's somewhat speeding, but maybe... <clears throat> it looks like he's doing it on a road that... You know, maybe it's acceptable. He's actually riding a... Pretty good car. Holy shit. What a badass. The only good news is that you don't have to worry about him too much because uh, basically the countdown to him dying is uh, measured in hours. So just just stay safe until then. There's something wrong with this bus, apparently. 
It's... Oh, look at that. Illegal modification. It spits fire. That means it goes fast. I know that. Obviously. Any car guy knows that. I know, know this much. I played Need for Speed. If it, if it spits fire, it means it goes fast. If it has fire drawn on it, it means it goes fast. It goes faster at least. So, that that's a fast bus. The real Catwoman. Let's see. Oh, that many cats? What the hell, you puss? What, what's that? I can count those cats. Is that like 20? 30? Come on. That's, that, that's nothing. <gasps> oh my god. Where was this cat? Look at this cat. <laughs> He's sick of this shit. <laughs> this time it's not the human who's like, oh my god, <clears throat> just kill me now. It's the cat. I mean... <clears throat> god damn it. Wow. <clears throat> I suspect that this woman has nothing else to do than just deal with the cats all day long. That's some that's a lot of cats. How many cats is that? Like it's like at least ten. Like, I don't know, that's ten too. It seems like it's closer to like 35, 40. I I'm kinda assuming there are some off screen as well. Holy shit. You really hope that no cats are gonna get out. So if you're gonna be alone, you're not gonna have a partner. How many cats are you gonna gonna get? How many cats? Personally, I want a number. I don't know how. I don't know what kind of calculation this lady used. Maybe one cat for every year she spent alone. Maybe, maybe like that. What would be your calculation? Let's watch this performance. All right. Good form, uh, playing around with uh, Rings of Fire, uh, just puts it down on the grass. The other one was on the grass all along, holy shit, uh, she tries to freeze it. Uh, uh, unusual, unusual technique, right there. Uh, oh, she did it, she, she acted like it was, it was done. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Holy shit! I'm sorry, this guy totally stole the show. Hey, just this guy. Just decided to run over this uh, fire ring performer lady uh, who was struggling. Uh, what? It was part of the performance. Okay. And now she's putting out the fires. The show is over. It was done. I guess that was the big finale. And you know what? I have to say, you know, when, when, when Hollywood tries to surprise me with the endings, they oftentimes fail. I did not expect this ending whatsoever. Good job. So, uh, good job, fire lady. When you miss your bus. Oh my god. And she's, she's smiling. Do you really wanna die? I, I feel like either these people are a lot more ballsy than me or just do not really perceive the danger of this situation. What's probably gonna what's gonna happen is that the bus is not gonna slowly slow down, but uh, most likely. I mean, if you're if you're super unlucky, you're going under the wheels, and you're fucked right there. Best case scenario, you're sliding under the bus, and you're not gonna get fucked up by anything just dangling down. Of course, it kind of depends on the design of the bus. Like best case scenario. I guess, I guess, like, super best case scenario, the bus very slowly slows down. Uh, realistic scenario, maybe, or maybe ve very realistic and best case scenario, you slide under the bus and not under the wheels. And, b first of all, there's a very good chance you're gonna lose grip. I, I guess that's a po possibility to you, too, that you just let go of the bus and, uh... But you still slide on the ground quite a bit. I mean, at at very least, you're gonna fuck up your clothes. Because when you stand up, uh, your pants and... Uh, even ignoring the possibility of death, you're gonna fuck up your clothes. 
And uh, that's not my style, you know? I like to take care of my shit. Wow. Uh, ballsy or stupid, uh, you guys tell me. <laughs> Hikers and bikers, move to the side of the road when a vehicle approaches. I say no. But I, this is an alternative way to tell someone that they are a snack. Not in the way they necessarily want to be, but kind of in a way. <laughs> Look at this. We got this Mad Max guy over here. <laughs> they see me rolling. They hating. <laughs> Copyright strike! Right away. What the fuck? I guess no one's gonna get close to you, but most likely you're just gonna fuck up yourself. And this is this has to be, yeah. How is this remote legal? This is this is clearly not legal. I guess you can have a wider vehicle, but you can't make your ve vehicle wider, uh, if ju just to fuck people, just to fuck with people. What is this shit? I mean, I mean, if you want to make your car cooler, I suppose fine. You know. You can put a spoiler in the back and you think of yourself as a racer and like jerk off at night. Whatever. I don't care. I think it's a it's a bit bit lame, but sure, why not? You go to the store and I'm like, oh look at my sweet spoiler, bro. It's like, yeah, uh, yikes, mate. But this is this is just dangerous. Uh yeah, not not cool. Anyway, uh I'll, I'll be rolling. Uh so thanks for watching and uh see you guys next time.